preschool years where that's one of the first things that kids will start to do is hold their pencils and scribble and they know that those scribbles are a type of communication. They're trying to be able to do that with others, to share what it is that they're trying to say. And I think about when we begin teaching the idea of writing, the idea of being creative, of giving kids opportunities to put their thoughts down, that we want to encourage that, but they're, they feel more confident if they're able to do that in a way that others understand what it is that they're trying to say. Um, I think that one of the things that parents should probably know about preschool children and learning to write um, and how that affects their letter recognition and reading is that doing things with their hands early on is really important. Um, so that means doing puzzles, it can be playing with blocks when they're really young, um, um, knitting, um, doing darning with the thread, needle and thread. Um, and it can be things like trying to do letters with the crayons or with their fingers um, and drawing, things like that. Anything that will help their fine motor skill. I'm just starting year three of doing Project Pencil Group and I'm doing it with primarily five-year-olds, pre-K five-year-olds. So we're doing small group instruction. Um, I'm doing 10 weeks of about 20 minutes of a session at a time for my small groups. And the kids love it. The excitement they get, the, the strength I'm finding in the pencil groups is, is fantastic, but the, the excitement they get about being able to draw and the excitement that they give me about guided instruction. That was one of the side benefits that I really hadn't thought of in a play-based program of how to incorporate the a little more formal instruction in that way. And they 